in, how can we implement it into our lives? And in what ways in, in what ways is the Lord telling us uh, something specific? So can you read that, that first verse one more time? My son, yes. forget not my law, mm. but let the heart keep my commandments. The Lord is saying, don't forget his law and always be obedient in his words. When we think of the, of the, the word of the Lord, what do we think of? We want to think of, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of the word of the Lord, I think of the commandments. And do we all know all of our commandments? And do we consciously think of the commandments when we are in our day-to-day -day life? Or else when I think of the, the word of the Lord, I think of the Bible. Are we living by the Bible? Are we taking the, the stories and the lessons that the Lord is teaching us in the Bible and implementing them into our lives? This is something that the, the Lord wants us to do. And he is telling us to, to look into his word and to look into his life and see where we can implement it back into our lives. Can someone open Deuteronomy 11, uh, verse 1? Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse verse. Therefore, yes. thou shalt love Jehovah the God, mm. and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his origins, and his commandments always. Here again, the Lord is emphasizing to follow his commandments and follow his word. And if we are looking directly into the Deuteronomy, we hear that they use the word love. When we, when we think of how do we express our love for God and how do we express our love for the Lord, how do we do that? Deuteronomy is saying that we do that through following his doctrine. The Lord says that he wants nothing less but for us to follow his word and to follow it to the teeth. And if we are able to follow his, his word and his doctrine, we are showing and expressing our love to God. May we never, may our love never be forsaken. Amen. The Bible is telling us that one way that we can show our love and gratitude towards the Lord is to follow his doctrine. And if we truly want to love the Lord, we have to follow his word. And the Lord wants nothing else in all the praise but to follow his doctrine. Unless we truly devote ourselves to him and his commandments, then may our efforts never go in vain. Amen. Uh, can we continue? With that proverbs, for length of days mm. and years of life yes. and peace will they have to thee. Let not kindness and truth forsake thee. Thank you. The Lord is saying that if we follow His words, our days will be long. Amen. May Amen. our days never be short. Amen. He is also saying that we will have long life. May long life be ours. Amen. He says that peace may reign in our lives. Amen. Everlasting peace will continue to be ours. Amen. Amen. Continue on that progress. Three. Yes. Three. Do not let mercy and truth leave you. Mm. Fasten them around your neck. Write them on a tablet of your heart. Then you will find favor and much success in the sight of God and Amen. humanity. Thank you. The Lord is saying that if we follow his word and his doctrine, we will be able to find favor. May the everlasting favor of the Lord be our portion. Amen. So usually when when things don't go our way, what is the first thing that we, we start to blame? Or where do we point our finger? When we are praying day in and day out and we don't see what we are praying for come to fruition, who do we start to blame? Is the first person you blame yourself? No, in, in human nature, we, we always blame someone else. And the worst thing to do is to blame God, saying that it is his fault that we do not get the things that we want. But the Lord is saying that if we follow his word and his doctrine, he will grant all of these things to us. Amen. So, so where's, the, where's the parallel between the two? The Lord is saying that if you do not, or if you are not receiving the things that you are asking for in your prayer, maybe there's something within yourself that you must change. And maybe there's there is a day-to-day -day doctrine that you are not following that the Lord has given to you. The Lord is saying that if you follow his words, you, you will be given a long life and you, will, and you will have peace in your life. And if peace is not there, then there is something internally that you are not doing right. Can 
continue on can we continue on the Proverbs? Trust, what verse are we? Trust the Lord okay. with all your heart. What verse are we? Five. Alright, continue. Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Mm. In all ways, in all your ways, acknowledge him and it will make your path smooth. Amen. Do not consider yourself wise. Yes. Fear the Lord yes. and turn away from evil. Can we open up Joshua 5, chapter 5, verse 6? Joshua, chapter 5, verse 6. For 40 years, yes. the Israelites wandered mm -hmm. through the desert yes. until all their shoulders, until all their shoulders who left Egypt died. Yes. They died because they disobeyed the Lord. Yes. The Lord swore that he would not let them see this land flowing with milk mm -hmm. and honey, which he had sworn to to our ancestors. Mm -hmm. The Lord is saying that he has preordained, he has already told the Israelites that they will be able to see the land of milk and honey. But because they did not go with the words of God, because they did not follow his doctrine to the team, he kept that from, from them. This connects back to the previous scripture that said that the Lord has preordained great things in our lives. He has said that he will give us long life. He, he has said that he will give us prosperity. Amen. But we have to earn those things. Yes. They are not given for free. Amen. And we have to put we have to put forth we have to put forth the effort and we have to do the doctrine of the Lord yes. so that we will see those blessings. Can we continue reading uh, Proverbs from verse 4? Can we go back? Then you will find favor mm. and much Amen. success in the sight of God yes. and humanity. Trust the Lord with all your heart yes. and do not rely on your own understanding. Thank yeah. you. May the Lord continue to grant his favor upon us. Amen. May knowledge, wisdom, and understanding be our portion. Amen. Uh, can someone open Exodus 19, chapter 5? Oh. Um, Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. If now therefore, yes. if ye will obey my voice in yes. and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. Yes. The Lord is saying that if we follow his word, that he will bring his favor upon us. He says that the whole earth is his. But we will be his treasured ones. Okay. What does that mean to you? That the Lord owns the whole earth. He has created all of these things. He has created us in his own image. But he said that if we follow his word, he, we will be his treasured ones. How do we see that, that point of treasure in our lives? It is the anointing of the Lord. That is, the Lord has made all of us in his own image. But when he favors us, he has, put that, he has placed that anointing upon our forehead. And he has allowed us to do more than, than the usual person would be able to do. May the Lord continue to grant his anointing upon us. Amen. It is true that he has, he has made all of us in his image. But following his doctrine, he has made us his anointing ones. And can we continue to read that Proverbs from verse 5? Proverbs 3. Uh, feet, go, three. Proverbs chapter 3, starting from verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. And lean not on your own understanding. Mm. In all your ways, and all your ways, and all your Yes. And if you make your path straight, do not be wise in your own eyes. Yes. Fear the Lord and trust in the Lord. This will bring health to your body. Thank you. And nourishment to your bones. The Lord is saying that we know nothing. That he even says that do not use, he says, be not wise in thine own eyes. Essentially, he's saying, do not boast for your own knowledge. Why, when we come to church, we pray day in and day out for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Where do you think we get these things from? From oh God. God. The Lord is the one who provides it for us. Yes. We know nothing without him. So how can we boast about our own knowledge? How can we be prideful for something that we have been given and not achieved it ourselves? The Lord is saying, 
don't take, don't be haughty and and boasting about your your wisdom or your personal your personal items. He's saying be humble in his words and to follow his doctrine, and you will be able to receive the treasures of the world. As humans, and as today is, as today is our juvenile harvest, we have a lot of our, our children who are in school. And we do not, even though we, we go to school to learn things, we do not know everything. And not even our teachers know everything. The Lord is a mysterious God, and he works in mysterious ways. So everything that we, we learn and everything that is, is given unto us is given from somewhere higher. And it is not by our own might or by our own power that we are able to attain this. Even though there are still mysteries in the world that the Lord is still keeping from us, that we must work to, to, to understand and to, for him to pass that down onto us. This is why when we come to church, we pray for wisdom and understanding, because we cannot achieve it ourselves. The things we think we know, we truly do not know. And we have to work for those things. And God is the only one that knows all of these things. Can someone open Romans chapter 2, uh, starting from verse 6? Okay, can you end that 8? Romans chapter 2, starting from verse 6 to 8. It will pay all people back yes. for what they have done. Yeah. It will give everlasting life yes. to those who set for glory, yes. honor, and immortality yes. by the persistence in doing what is good. Yes. But it will bring anger and fury on those who, in selfish pride, refuse to believe the truth and who follow what is wrong. There, there will be suffering and distress for every, for every person who does evil, for Jews first and yes. Greeks as well. Thank you. The, this is the other side of the argument. That we, we see all the things that we are able to achieve when we follow the word of the Lord. But the Lord is also saying that there are repercussions if we do not follow his word. That he is a jealous God and when he gives out his doctrine, he expects us to be grateful for all the things that he has done for us and that we continue to, to follow his word. But he is saying that if we do not follow his word, he will be provoked to anger. May we never see the anger of the Lord. Amen. Can we finish uh, the first lesson? Proverbs chapter 3. Uh, to the end. Yeah. Don't ever think that you are right enough. Yes. says to give the first of your earnings unto him. Does that sound familiar? It is referring to tithe. True? Yes, sir. And this is it's one thing that we see that the Lord has begged us to do. All things that we have received or earned, the Lord has given it to us. Thank you, Lord. So is it too much for us to give a portion of that back to the Lord? No. To preserve his home? No. It is our duty, in fact, to bring our first increase to the Lord because He is the one who has given it to us. And we are reimbursing Him for His glory and His thanks. And it is, um, it is a, a, a symbol of thanks towards the Lord. We must remember our prayers. And when, when, we, have, when we come to the Lord and we, we pray for, for things that we do not have, Let's say you come to church and you pray that you receive a job. When the Lord gives you that job, is it is it wrong to give a portion of that back to Him? No. It is our duty to it is our duty to give back to the Lord for the thing that He has given us to preserve His house. But what other what other things besides jobs are our first bringing? 
of our increase. They use the word increase. In what ways are you increased in this world? Aren't your children an increase to you? Aren't your friends an increase to you? How would your life be without those people? The Lord is also saying to bring those people to the house of the Lord. Because he has given those people to you, you owe him to bring them back to him. As we are all Christians of men, the Lord wants us to go out and to continue to spread his word and to continue to, to minister unto others that may not have been enlightened. As we are also increased by our children, we shall also bring them back into the church so that they can also pass that down to their children. As we are, as we are increased by our friends, we should also enlighten them simply by, you could say which church you go to or invite them to your church. It is a way of bringing your increase back to the Lord. May we continue to have more and more increase. Amen. Amen. These simple, these simple things that we can do in our day to day life allow us, allow us to show our gratitude towards the Lord and to show Him, and to show Him that the things that the things that He has provided for us, we are not taking them in vain. Thank you, Lord. Uh, can someone open uh, Malachi chapter three, uh, verse eight? Malachi chapter 3 and from verse 8 when the man drop God can a person keep God yes you are cheating me mm -hmm. but you ask how are we cheating you yes. when you don't bring a tenth of your income and other contributions so a cost is on you because the whole nation is cheating me Thank you. This is the other side of the argument as well. The Lord is saying that He has provided all these things to you. He has given you the doctrine to bring 10% of that back to Him. But what happens when we don't do this? And what are the repercussions of our actions? The Lord is saying that if you do not do these things, you will be provoked to anger. The increase that He has provided you, who says that He will not take that away? Who says that the next day when you wake up, that job that you got the other day, that you will still have it. Or those acquaintances that you, that you have, that they will still be there for you. You have to continue to, to follow the word of the Lord, to not provoke him into anger. Because the fear of the Lord should, should overcome all things. And as we are following the word of the Lord, we should follow it to the T. Because he has created us and he has created this world in that we live in. So if we, if we are trying to to be closer to the Lord, we have to follow His word. And there's no way around it. And there's no way to, to cheat the Lord. Can you read the, the beginning of Malachi one more time? That Malachi chapter 3. Can you read that one more time? That verse in the beginning. Can a person cheat God? Can someone cheat God? But the, the omnipotent and omnipresent God Amen. that has created you in his own image, that has given you all things, can you cheat him? No. Why can he not see? He can see everything. He has created this world. But we must respect these things. If we are trying to, to tiptoe around his doctrine and to not follow it, who, who are we cheating? We are cheating ourselves. Yes. If we are we are we are taken away from our own blessing because he has already said that he will provide all these things for us. He has preordained these things in our lives. So who are we cheating? We are taken away from our own glory. We, we say it in church that we are falling short of the glory of God. How does, how does those things affect him? Is there not another person just like you that he can, that he is receiving those tidings from? He will receive it one way or another because he is, he is the Lord. Amen. But you are cheating yourself. You are cheating yourself from your glory if you want to tiptoe around his his doctrine. As we are as we are all followers of the Lord, we shall hold fast to his word. Amen. We shall continue to hearken unto him. Amen. Because when we do these things, he will continue to preordain great things in our lives. Amen. He will continue to rain his blessing in our lives. Amen. He will continue to put smiles on our faces. Amen. He will continue to have everlasting joy be with us. Amen. So if we, if we are not following his word, we are taken away from our own glory, and we are taken away from our own happiness if we don't do these things. Again. 
the second lesson, 12, of verse 3 to 11. 